How's it going everyone? Today on Standard we are going to be playing Mono White El Shnon and more El Shnon and that's right, you know what that means? We are going to be taking ass and kicking names. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Especially considering that this El Shnon, the forecast one, is absolutely broken and yet no one no one plays it, because the sacrifice condition is technically kind of a little bit annoying, but let me t introduce you to the solution to it. Turn 1, you drop a defective might. Turn 2, you literally drop any one of these two caused bad boys. Turn 3, you drop a wedding announcement. Turn 4, you drop an El Shnon. Turn 5, you have already 4 sacrifices instead of 3. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, wrong El Shnon, this one. Oh yes. The, op the opportunities, the possibilities with this, mwah, absolutely without question insanity. And the best part is, the moment you pull, uh, pop this uh, saga, you you th th there's no stopping it. You just win, okay? Because the next turn, you're probably already winning. Because, keep in mind, you create... Uh, two times five then transform those into incubation tokens. Then the next turn when they can attack, everything gets plus one and double strike. That is, that is just unbelievably powerful. Okay, that's all I can say about this. And we have this Elishnon, a mother of machines. And this card makes it that things that enter the battlefield are on our side trigger twice, but our opponent's things don't trigger at all. Which means, if we combine this with something like, you know, a Ceres Paragon, well, we can get double draw from the uh, companion, we can get double ossification, we can get, well, double land draws, I guess. You know, there's a lot of neat things that can be done here. Also, we have a decent amount of removal. The Poplay, the Wandering Empress, a uh, Lay Down Arms, and Ossification, as mentioned previously. You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then, one of my favorite things that no one is still really playing too much is Invasion of Gobakhan. This thing, essentially. And this thing is great. It has 3 HP, which means if you can drop a turn 2 adversary and then three, three, uh, turn 3 this, well, you get a, you get a switch for free. And this t this thing is kind of insane. At the be beginning of your end step, put a point point counter on each creature that attacked this turn. So this can escalate, well, to extremes, honestly. And then you can sacrifice this thing and creatures you control gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of the turn. Which means, essentially, this is also a combo that can happen easily. You drop this, you drop a Satyr's Paragon, you destroy this in one turn with Satyr's Paragon, this flips, and congratulations, you have a permanent rotation of free invulnerability and hexproof. Insane, I know. Insane. Absolutely insane, I know. Great stuff. In any case, 22 lands to be specific, 2.7 average mana cost, and with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. And also, for tomorrow, we're probably going to be playing this, and this is Aurus, but I'm not 100% sure because I did not... I just put this together, so I'm not 100% sure if Aurus are going to be viable. It looks kind of good! Because there are some underrated Aura cards currently in Standard, oh, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, I literally just put it together. I have not played a single game of it. I have not tested it even one bit. So, you know. But I'm thinking it's gonna work. Uh, the, from the cards that I put in, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, this, this probably could work. You know, there's a bunch of graveyard effects. A lot of good stuff, essentially. In any case, our first game... And we have this, and we have this land right here. Fate Basilica. Nice. And, ooh, do we want... Yeah, but I'm gonna start off with the land. Ooh! As always, as always, fearful that the game's just gonna crash because, you know, it... it, it well, the indie development jokes are getting old. So let me insert the Pinkerton joke. Man, if I continue complaining about this game being garbage, they're probably gonna t get a visit to me. And, you know, very, very playfully intimidate me until I, I stop saying bad things about Arena. You know how it is. Also, forgot to swap this, but that's fine. Okay, do I attack? Yes! Yes. Also, we're playing... Well, this is not exactly a mirror match, but it is pretty cute. Pretty cute. 
Is he gonna block? No! Why? Okay, okay. This is reasonable. I was considering also putting this. Maybe we, by the way, swap some things and we do put that in. But, you know, for now I'm not 100% sure. In any case, a wedding announcement, which is a big sugoi. Honestly, he is gonna get a lot here because he's not blocking for some reason. I'm confused. Okay, you did the thing that draws the card. Are you some kind of combo wombo? Uh, what are you even? Golden Marvin. I, I can't... Oh, you're that thing. Wait a minute. You're... Re Wait, this is a reanimator. Wow, he's gonna be pissed about the fact that I have 15 ossifications right here ready, ready for show. <laughs> oh, he... Oh, my lord, he gonna be pissed. Well, in any case... I am just gonna continue ramping up here because this is the best thing we can do. If you're playing against someone who's comboing, you just want to go as balls deep in as you possibly can. Okay. Okay. A little bit unexpected, not gonna lie. Yes, that is fine. And you know why that is fine? Uh, everything's fine as long as I do- Oh good, the land! This actually saves us because then we can uh, set us Patagon and that. Okay, a very interesting situation, not gonna lie. So, what's his play? <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. So, what's this guy's play currently, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. This cost mana, though. Wait a minute, why are you so big? Wait, why is everything so big? What's happening? Ah, uh, hello? Moshi Moshi. Well, in any case, I'm just gonna do this now because, yeah, seems a little bit dodge se uh, dodge central, not gonna lie. And let me just do, well, more of this. Yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of this now. Thank you. Thank you very much. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do literally everything of this now because this ain't looking, this ain't looking good, chief. Also, that has trample. But I, then again, I don't kind of care about the trample too much. Again, we we have the block here. And he laid down arms. Oh, there. Ooh, 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 boys. That's not good. That's not good. <clears throat> Damn. That is not big good. We are probably going to lose this one. But there was nothing that's going to stop, you know, him from doing a combo wombo. Dude, that card created a thing. What? Why? Hello? Why, why would you do that on each one? Well, I guess it makes sense that he wants to do that. But then again, I can just do this and, you know, I'm not losing. Wait, I'm losing! I literally lost. Well, doesn't matter. I don't... Well, no! Wait, we... We had depopulate! Did we have depopulate all this time in my hand? No! No! Top 100 mythic right here, boys. Top top 100 mythic rank right here, boys. What up? What up? The connection lost, bruh. Get get back in there. Top 100 mythic. What up? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, connection lost wizard? Stop! Stop! I'm recording a video. We already have suffered a tremendously humiliating loss in the first game that no one remembers. You know? So yeah. D did I have depopulate all that time in my hand? Man, I must be thinking about tight gap milf a little bit too much. Mm-mm. You, know you know what it is, boys. In any case, Elish Non. Okay, get three lanes, get four lanes, get a combo wombo chicken winner dinner. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh-huh. Well, this ain't bad. Do I dro uh, drop the Dusk Legion there? I think I do. We can, by the way, also combine this with a couple of 3-cost cards, which I will do, by the way, later on. I, I, I will swap it up. Ooh. What do you mean? Ah, oh, don't be lame. Dude, whenever someone just Liliana, uh, dude, Liliana's you on turn like that, you know it's bad. Admittedly, we do have a Wandering Empress, which technically is going to solve my Liliana issues, maybe. 
And he just played a thingamajig. Oof, oof, oof. This card, a card, well, I kinda, I, I, I can work with that technically. Okay, uh, this, I really want to do this though. What are my shots here? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. You are go. Boo dude, you're literally getting and yeah, invoke the spit was extremely, extremely obvious here, by the way. If you did not know that there's gonna be an invoke the spit in my opponent's hand, well you have not been paying enough attention in this game. Because that was the most obvious thing ever. L go first, aggro, drop one creature, opponent Lilian and removes. That is probably... Yo, we can actually do this. We, 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 I feel it, you know, boys. I, I, I definitely feel. I, I definitely feel this. Also, I can actually just attack with... What now? What now? Oh, I'm not get. Uh oh. No, wait. I'm still absolute cheeks. Yeah, I'm still absolute cheeks. It's fine. I I this is fine. Misplay. Not misplays. I mean, absolutely. We're absolutely fine. Ooh, look at that. Yep. Absol. Absolutely fine. No. Like, what is he gonna do? Minus plus one me, dude. You c you can't even do that. Ah. Uh... Ah, and we still got it, boys. We still got... You thought that this is a misplay. But the reality is... My, my, my level of thinking, my level of sheer... I am one with magic, okay? The, I am... I am literally one with magic at this point, okay? I... I feel the game. I know what's going This was all planned. Or as that one guy said in the comments... Does things at random, opponent is confused and can't answer you because things are done at random. <laughs> opponent proceeds to misplay because they, they are overthinking what you are doing. And then you win because of luck. And then you say as planned. Yes. It's great. Anyway, look at the sinky bait, boys. Look at the sinky bait. So, nothing he does now matters because even if he magically somehow somehow gets a land it does nothing okay it does nothing because i can Ooh. Ooh. the pyrexians send their regra regards vorenslix i always thought vorenslix was a pet that's so that's so that's so wiki woo in any case yeah that, that's that's good that's good yeah you see you see for Costello Schnorn, Mommy is just so underrated, it's honestly criminal. Honestly, it's criminal. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Looking at my phone. Okay, let's go. And, well, let's just continue onwards. Oh, no, after, after this game, I will uh, I will swap it out. Because, again, we have the set as Paragon, which can resurrect not two costs, but one and three costs also. So there is definitely a big use for using uh, for using Sagas and, you know, a couple of three cost things. But, again, uh, that a little bit later. There are alternative ways, and, you know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it a little bit later. You know, more, uh, more, uh, more effectiveness in using Dusk Legion Duelist. Oh, yeah. Also, how the hell did a Dusk Legion do it? Oh, because they're invading the place with the Dusk Legion. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. And instantaneous. Yeah. If you see this, you ossify it. Because uh, angels aren't really that strong for the most part. Okay. Okay. Angels are not really that strong for the most part, but they are ridiculously overpowered when they have Gia the Fountain of Hope for the opener. And also, what the hell was that just now? Huh? On each one? What was that? In any case, I'm dropping multiple ones of these. Okay, I have... 
Well, I'm gonna just Elish. Dude, if I get a fourth lane, I can just Elish Norn and maybe we can achieve something here, boyos. There is a shot, there is a chance, there is a chance for Leia's dance. Or we could draw a rat. Dude, you see what I mean? This is stupid. Okay? This is stupid. Absolutely just stupid. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we're gonna. Well, we're surviving. If Elish non. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna draw a little bit. Yeah, Elish non actually is not even a play. I just need to draw. He doesn't block. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Very useless. I like it. So, the the first stick doesn't do anything. Oh, ossification for Delish Non. Okay, that's fine. Fine or not. I can't really survive this one now, can I? Hmm. 3 HP. Yeah, not gonna probably be enough. Not gonna probably be enough. Uh, didn't draw lands. Well, I can drop this, but what does that actually help me? Does it even do anything? No. I can do this. 5 HP. No, there's also no instance that I can get here. Yeah, we literally just got forced loss like there's no tomorrow. Because these ain't... He had double Giad into double angels. That's a bit much. Hmm. Well... That's fine. Okay, so... Well, I said I'm gonna do the small minor changes for three drops after this, so, you know, here here we kinda are. Here we kinda are. Man, that was a four. That was stupid. That, that was a... That was... Wizards, that was a very, very, very clearly loser f uh, loss. Oh, you could have done... You could have done me a little bit better, Chief, not gonna lie. You know? Okay. So, let's add a couple of 3-drops that actually makes uh, make sense here for an Elish Norn build like that. So, you change the layout to this, because this is how uh, normal people actually look at it. And click enchantments, creatures, battles, artifacts. I don't think artifacts had anything good there. So, but you do have some pretty decent choices here. If you want, you can go Brutal Catcher, but that's, that's kind of one of the, uh, I would say, lowest ones. You can maybe uh, replace something with this, but again, that's kind of a lo uh, lower tier play. So where are our high tier plays? There we go. Uh, restoration. Obviously, restoration pre, uh, pre neat. So the restoration is technically a little bit better than this, so we can swap that uh, that one out. And alternatively, I can't find. Oh, here it is. The Siege Veteran. Siege Veteran obviously has way, 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 way huge implications for Dusk, uh, Dusk Legion Duelist. You know, Dusk Legion Duelist has go a good synergy with Invasion of this because it still does it. Uh, but, you know, Siege Veteran is just a little bit more reliable there. But it kind of depends on how you want to play with it. I personally don't want to play with it at all. I want to play. I want to save the skeevers. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take one restoration and keep it there, and just do it like this. Or we could ditch one, maybe Elish Norn or one of the uh, five cost Norns, because the five cost Norn is like the, the the tricky one, right? Uh, and where is it? Do I want the wedding announcement? Now nah, let's actually just keep it like this. Okay. Didn't change much, but you see, that's kind of how you change it. Maybe you want the list wedding announcements. It's going to hugely depend on what you're honestly playing up against. But, you know, something like this I would should probably I would say is probably the best. Lay down in arms. Some of you will not like this, so, you know, remove it at your free will. But there are, there are a lot of ways to actually change this one around. I kind of want a second... Uh, restoration, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Restorations are completely OP OP when it comes to uh, turn three plays. When you are turn on turn one, well, when you when you're the first one to go, restoration is completely busted most of the time on turn two, not turn two, but turn three. But I don't know. I think the time has passed for restoration to be the biggest cheese ever. So yeah. It is what it is. Two Elspets. Okay. 
Here we have an adversary. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Cat on purple, see what happens. Bok toy. Ah, that's a food, I think. Let's see. In a farm hand, as expected. A lot of people are playing mono white, whatever cadaver you want to call this. And I think it's fine because, you know, it is a strong build. It is what it is. Wandering Empress. I really want to ditch one Elish Norn Mother of Machines, but every time. The hell is this? Ah, uh, do I. Yes, yes, let's exchange. Sure, let's go for it. So, this has first strike. I'm gonna drop this just to bait removal if there is any. Because the big play here obviously is potentially status paragoning or wandering empressing. So, you know, you, you, we kinda got that. You have an instant one cost to play? No shot! Did you accidentally click? Or he accidentally had full control enabled, I'm not even sure here. That's insane. Yeah, lay down arms, okay, that's expected from something like this. But that's not a problem, and lay down arms is a sorcery, so he still has a one drop that he can do stuff with? I'm not even sure. Anyway, in this situation, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the Wandering Empress on my turn and minus to this thing now the reason I'm doing this because is uh, because wandering Empress is not gonna give me a card advantage but Ceres Paragon definitely will Ceres Paragon is one hundo getting me an advantage and if that advantage can be gotten easily it's e oh this is big okay so currently I don't know how many people understand these things but Currently, I'm trying to go for an advantage play here. Because when you're doing dealing with someone who's uh, not being too overly aggressive, and you can't be too overly aggressive, you kind of want to go for an equalized route and get some kind of advantage. So, if I get to drop Satis Paragon and Elish Norn and play one Spirited Companion, I pretty much win, okay? I pre- oh! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. A little bit annoying, but honestly, you know, as fine as it can be. So, I'm pretty sure he's out of removals, at least at this point. Oh, trash, trash, someone's playing trash, boys, everyone, boyos! This person is playing literal garbage. Okay, what is your thing? Uh, it's nothing, okay. Ah, he got, okay. What is that? Battle control another human draw card. Okay, no one cares the card. Okay, that's great. So, watch this. Ossification. And now, considering we have... Uh, see, you you see? This is why I didn't want... Uh, didn't want to... And he just gives up. Yeah. Because ossification works on two targets here because of Elshnorn. You see? This is why I didn't want to get rid of Elshnorn. This is why I'm saying you can add three costs. But it's really hard. Probably lay, no, uh, lay down the arms has to go, but, you know, it's like, it's really, really, really hot. You see, when Elish Norn is on, she's a 5 cost, and your average cost is 2 to 3, uh, three right? So, it's really awkward to, El uh, you know, to keep Elish Norn in the build, but when you play her, she's always literally worth it. Because she's mommy, mostly. Obje ob ob objective criticism here, boyos, okay? Very objective. Should I actually ditch one this? Should I actually disc, uh, ditch all the Legionnaires? No, I'm gonna keep one just in case. Yeah. And we can't go... If you go to Satis Paragons, by the way, you're never drawing them. It is what it is. I didn't make the rules. Wizards made them. So that's what anyone who's... You see... Making mono white in this style is kind of complicated because there's so many ideas that you can do that are good. But are they better than the other ideas? Now that's hard to tell. Admittedly, I can't even tell that. And I play this game a lot. I build a lot of different decks. And, well, that's what I have done for multiple years now. And I can't even tell that. Every card has... Every card in this situation has just so many small, whimsical ways it can be amazing. 
It just kind of depends on what you're playing more against. And you can't really predict that no matter what, so, you know, if anyone wants to change things again, you are not wrong by doing so, you know? Chances are, even if you are a beginner, you still know what's up. You, you're still making a decent choice that can be easily justified. Do you think this guy is playing Selesnia tokens? Oof. Got an ossification, got a Satis Paragon, got an invasion. That's kind of neat. Opponent not doing anything. That's kind of neat. Maybe we win. Maybe we don't. Maybe it's a Verder. Oh, look at that. He's 13 years old. That's strange. Huh. Under 18 is like my literal smallest uh, YouTube audience. My biggest YouTube audience is like tw um, tw uh, 20 to 25 year olds. So that's kind of cool. Yay, you know. Well, actually, it's boo because kids are the best at still, even though YouTube is like, oh, we're, we're, we're playing. Do I go for an ossification here? Oh, uh, now let's go for this. I can ossify later. Maybe this is going to be a better play. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, if I don't get a brat here, we probably lose. Oh boy, yeah, to the graveyard trespasser, sheltered and obliterator. What a time to be al We got a rat, boys. I repeat, we got El Vrato. Good. Okay, so the question is do we wait until he sheltered? Or do we just ossify. Okay, okay, okay. This, this, this should not be that hard of a choice, right? This should actually be a relatively easy ish choice. We obviously depopulate, because otherwise we kind of dead next turn. And then when he does something stupid, we just, you know, wait it out. Or, or something like that, right? And he plays with Blitz. Very interesting. And by that, I mean no one cares to play. Nice. Okay, he draws a card. I think that's an ossification. I think that's an ossification if I have ever seen one. Okay, so do this. Should I play the adversary just for nothing? And yeah, sure, why not? Dude, this guy is absolutely insane in membrane. Okay, well, good enough. Okay, so next turn, we have this. We don't have anything in the graveyard, sadly, but I think it's fine. Is he gonna go? Ooh, he goes for the throat. Huh. What's your play? Yep, that was expected, but. Thankful. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I can also drop you. Yeah, I'm gonna drop you because no reason not to, right? Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna threaten him next turn with an adversary, so that's gonna be big prime. And well, you know, now we get this, and oh, voila! Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Mwah. Absolutely beautiful. And the best part is sacrifice. Blah blah blah. Uh, non-token creature. Okay, can't do anything against that, sadly. But on the other hand, who cares? We're literally gonna have the most gigachad Humi umis that I have ever seen in my life at this rate. This guy, this guy has nothing on us. Oh, look at that. No one cares to play. Wow. That's so non-impressive. Oh, wow, it just got a little bit more non-impressive. Oh, boy. Oh boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Are you gonna, are you gonna block? Are you gonna attack? Are you gonna smack? What what are you gonna do? Tell me! Tell me. Because look at this. These things just become just became five fives, boys. Yeah. It's getting dangerous. It's getting real dangerous right here. Okay, so let's see. A Pyrexia! No one cares a thing of magic! Wow! Okay. Okay, so we do we go for the ossification or the lay down of the orms? I think we go for... I can actually do it like this, because I think he's probably gonna invoke the spare, and this doesn't change anything for us. But this changes everything for him. Oh, he blocked. What a choice. Well, I guess it's a smartish choice. It's like, it's not like he has anything else to do, you know? But in any case, you have one Invoke the Spit. Wow. And there we go. 
Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. So, I would love to say that there's a world where we can actually go for more two drops and whatnot by getting rid of things like the Wandering Empress. But this is a perfect example why you can't get rid of things like the Wandering Empress, sadly enough. Also, there is even a world where we try and fit in a fi- I'm not gonna show it, but you know, a, fi a five card Sigal, Sigad, whatever, not Sigad, uh, Elspeth. Five cost Elspeth. There is a world where we do that, because remember, she gives flying, first strike, a lifelink of vigilance. That's pretty strong. And her minus three in this situation is also kind of top tier, not gonna lie. Considering how many combo wombo pieces we can actually get out of it. Again, so many different possibilities there are to actually play this. It's absolute insanity. And we finally get to see a seat of the Empire. Cat on purple. Rat priest! Nice! Said literally no one ever. Oh... Green white rod priest? Very interesting. Also, yeah, for some reason this does not get triggered. When a creature you control becomes a target of a spell, target opponent gets a poison counter. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this that's supposed to work, but it just doesn't, and uh, I, I, I guess cools. In any case, there we go. It's token on token violence. My favorite kind of violence. I'm just joking. I love all violence. Ah, uh, that's right. So, also, oh, 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 say it ain't so, he actually went that far and got so far, and in the end it didn't even matter, wow, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but anyway, boys, boys, it's tip o'clock, since all of you are on average are almost boomers, pretty much 100% zoomers, you know, with the zoomy zooms and boomy booms and whaty whats, you need, you, you, you need probably a little bit of advice. So, we have already talked about ha proper handshaking, you know, you know, the, the proper handshaking when, when, you know, you, you, you don't give your hand like this and the other person needs to do this. A firm grasp. And at the same time, you need to look them in the eye. Because if you don't look them in the eye, that's honestly almost at the same level of a uh, bad as... Well, honestly, yeah, it's at the same level of bad as, you know, giving a limp, a limp hand. It's just pathetic. Okay? Do I attack? No, because next, the next turn, Mommy Nornish is gonna do some things. Ah, oh, yeah. But there you go. You need to look them in the eye. If you do not give your hand while looking them into the eyes, they're gonna think of you as weak, as unfitting. As someone to be pushed over and that's most likely true so how do you avoid the situation when you're looking someone in the eye and you're giving your hand like this and you just miss by a mile well the situation is pretty simple you look at where their hand is while you're in almost the process before you are there but like a second before your hands are supposed to meet you look at them you analyze big brain, giga chat, everything in your mind, and you go for it, and you do it. Because you looked right before it was happening. Because remember, it's a fast process. And then, while that's, while that's happening, you look them in the eye. And congratulations! People respect you suddenly. And I'm serious, people do respect you. Like, I have never in my life met a single person who gives a bad handshake and doesn't know these things and gets respect. Like, you're, th those people are just instantaneously considered pathetic. It is what it is. You can hate it. You can say, well, that's wrong. The fact that I am a pushover, absolute pussy, shouldn't mean that I have verse. No, it should. No, it should. If it was for me, honestly, I would put you in slave chains and there you go in the mines work, you absolute piece of worthless trash. You know, it is what it is. Life's, life's not exactly great for a lot of people. You either live and conquer it, or you die being stepped on. It's just life, boys. I didn't make the rules, but I love enforcing them for a reason, because I'm good at it. That's right. So you can choose to be a winner, or you can choose to be a loser. And trust me, no one wants to be a loser. So let's go, let's see what we have here. Also, maybe he's AFK. You know why? 
Because he mentally understood that he would not be able to shake a hand properly. And he just, oh, I'm, I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm against Senpai. He's, he's talking about manly things. I'm out. That's right. That's right. It is what it is. In any case, pretty good. We're winning games. We're doing stuff. I like it. I like it. Well, Ella Schnorn literally never fails. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Pawns. Oh, gatekeeping. Nice. I like it. Okay, let's see. Opponent goes first. Three lands, Elish Norn, early plays. Seems a con you, you must be control. No! Oh, annoying. Okay. We have lay down the arms in Elish Norn. This could work. Okay, okay. That's not the first case scenario. So I need to be okay. Okay, that's that's real good now. Suddenly, actually, no. I need to go for this. I need to sag the companion, maybe. Okay, so this is hot because I got this, which means if I get rid of the this thing, I can actually squigans. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, not the worst case scenario just yet. Kind of getting close, though. <laughs> kind of getting close. So, drop this, yes, one hondo, and then just do this. And next turn, I can either Saddest Paragon or Vrad. Depends on uh, what the situation calls for. Depends on what he does. If he drops multiple hasties, I think I'm dead no matter what. But if he doesn't, I think we can Saddest Paragon and. Sir okay, good. Well, it's not good. I would actually much rather see something. More haste! Stop, you absolute clown! Also, how much damage is this? I think we didn't have a shot, boys. Two HP, we're just dead. Yep, it's a world. It's it's the world we live in. Absolutely just dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do it. There we go. Yeah, good game! I literally didn't have a shot against you. If I went first, I actually had a shot. Again, you know, go first, win game, don't go first, lose game. Wizards is literally not even pretending that they're trying to find a solution or an advantage to give the uh, person going second. And by the way, all of you extremely gigabrained ones, the people who think that you're smarter than everyone, but for some for, 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 for some unlucky reason you're still cleaning toilets at McDonald's. The fact that Wizard gives the person that goes second uh, another extra card is not an advantage. It's literally no one cares a clock, okay? That, that, yeah, they gave an advantage. And you know why people are complaining? Because that advantage sucks. Because it's a bad advantage, it does nothing, it is what it is. So, oh, we can go! Yeah, no one cares. Give a better advantage, give more of an advantage. Again, there is literally never a good time in this world to go first. Ragdos, very interesting. Let's see how it is. And by the way, tomorrow, boys, you know what I have to do? What the hell is this? Oh, sure, ditch this in that case. Interesting. You know what I have to do tomorrow, boys? I have to go with my dad to my grandma's. Because she's making this some kind of... Uh, I, I, what, 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 what do I even call it? I'm not... Uh, what, what is what, what it supposed to be called? Uh, family friend reunion or whatever? A.K. a bunch of old people I do not know. And it's gonna be super boring. The only people dead are gonna be my cousin and my cousin's boyfriend, which is kind of okay, kind of chill, kind of cool. We're, may we're probably gonna uh, drink something or whatever, and that's gonna be okay. That's gonna be cool and whatever. But! But! Sadly, but. Do I maybe minus one here? Hmm. Interesting choices. Oh, wait, wait, do I actually uh, drop the duelist like this? Yeah, actually, oh, wait, giga plays, giga plays. I can always my. oh, yes, yes, yes. Does this make sense? 
Yeah, actually, it does make sense, I think. No, do I need this? No, 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 no. There's no read because I have this. And anyway, and the first spot is we're gonna watch hockey. I, 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 I don't hate hockey, but I, I'm not into watching sports most of the time. The only thing I have ever watched is golf because it's hilarious. And curling because it's hilarious. <laughs> Ain't I a simple person? What can I say? In any case, that's the pretty much only things I have ever watched. The oh, oh, also figure skating. I know literally all the figure skating moves because I watched one uh, one time. Uh, it's called a tilt. No idea what... Gain control of target creature until... Okay. Ah. Uh, wait, you're gonna sacrifice? You can't sacrifice it, you absolute lame brain. Bro, you can't even sack a whack it. What are you doing with your life? Anyway, look at this. Okay, now I'm gonna minus still because I'm mad. He stole my thing, he tried to sack it, but that's not happening. Uwu, Aba, that's right, boys. It is what it is. Okay, good stuff. Uh, drop this, plus one on the Dusk Legion. There we go, gain a land. Yay, a land. I was kind of joking about that one, Wizards, but hey. <laughs> it is what it is. In any case, ooh, he blocks? Okay. I mean, you did one damage, so what? Big deal. And, man, it's gonna be so annoying. I don't want to watch hockey. The good part is there's gonna be meat. The bad part is usually in literally every fa uh, every time there's some kind of thing happening, blah, 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 that involves my family, I end up the one who cooks. Because I have... I have this talent of understanding. Well, the meat looks a little bit... This bit... You know, this smidgen uh, raw. But it's actually cooked. Yeah, so we should take it off. And then everyone's like, Wow, the meat is so unbelievably juicy. How is this po... Because it's not burned, okay? That's my secret. I, I take it off when it... When it looks this much a little bit raw, because the secret is it's not actually raw at that point any longer. So, yeah, that that's it. And because of this unbelievable talent, I have to cook every single time it's a family thing happening. Oh, I didn't choose the tug life. But it definitely chose me, and by tug life, I mean whatever the hell extra work I now need to perform. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, that's a thing. Okay, get more lands. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So this is Poisoner. Okay, I can actually go for this. My favorite part about having a face to resurrect the adversary is the fact that we can literally just sack this guy. We can literally just sack and use him as protection. It's great. It's absolutely great. Uh no, not 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 cool, but okay. Obviously not gonna block. Hmm. Am I gonna lose? Because this guy has a good start currently on me. Hmm. A little bit dodgy, but it is what it is. Okay, let's attack and see what happens. I, I'm kind of... Uh, I don't want to use the Wandering Empress too fast currently. I could do this, though. No. Yeah, I can't do this. Well, it's a blocker. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna risk it. There's a chance he blo uh, prevents it. But there's also a chance that if this gets dropped, he can't do anything about it because this is something that doesn't have a lot of removal, okay? Infectious bite my a-hole, you know what I'm saying? In any case, let's see how it goes. Maybe we maybe we get a uh, land and we can actually start uh, start the Elish non-pumping, which would be amazing. Oh yeah, maybe, who knows. I don't think he's gonna have ways to deal with this. Huh? Okay. Right? That just happened? Okay. He's pumping it. We did get a land, but the question is can we actually... 
Okay, so let's attack with everything because you're low 420, blaze it. And what do I do after that? I want him to use all his mon, but he's not using all of his mon. Okay, I'm... I can't, because I'm, I'm one off. I'm one basic land off. This sucks. Okay, I'm gonna allow him to draw, because hopefully he completely just uh, ends up... Okay, so he can't do this. Bad, bad choice. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, he maybe drew a land, who honestly knows. Either we win right now, or we lose right now. This is pretty much like the turn where mo most things could be potentially decided. Because even if the Empress doesn't work next turn, it's a uh, basic land plus lay down. Uh, okay, that's that's protection of the bloated construct gone. I like it. Okay, that's not even bad for us. He has something instant though. Okay, that just happened. There's no way his last... Okay... Okay, I like that. I actually like that. So let's see, do we actually drop this now? I think we do. Also, I think we could have just won by uh, playing the whatever, but I don't think I even care. Because this is a win worthy of a champion. Yeah, we could have definitely won by just dropping the adversary. <laughs> no one saw it. No one saw anything. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, so we win. Because there's literally no way... Yeah, exactly. There's no way you get uh, three more poison counters on me. You tried. But you should have definitely tried my poison build instead. Because it's, it's really good. Not a lot of people are currently playing poison. It's not getting that much views, but man, it is by far the strongest poison build currently in game. And no one played it. When poison was popular, no one played it. When poison now is not popular, no one's playing it because, well, poison's not popular. That's insane, huh? That is absolutely redonkulously insane. Oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. In any case... Go first! Two lands bought a farmhand. Good. Could drop Mistress Foundry and be like, ooh, not liking. Ah, oh, come on! Another one? Why? What did I do wrong? Why another one? Take action. Am I gonna wait and go for the adversary? Oh, I would love to, but that's probably not a play that can honestly be done. Okay, that's good. That's actually real good, because I can just ossify it instantly. Okay, so from all things that could happen, that's that's actually big. And the fact that we have Seat of the Empire means that this thing is good, because this is a 3-4 that creates a 1-1. One, one. There's a very huge value value in that one. Okay, so what now? More, more, more those? Okay, okay. Not the best play for now, but it's not the worst play for now. How do we do it? I think we go... Okay, I'm gonna probably have to risk it all in playing double con... Hello? Ah, uh, pathetic. Out of 10. Okay, so, we're losing HP, but that's... Ooh, okay. So, I need to get this as fast as theoretically possible, I think. So, you know, we're gonna do it like this. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because if we can get the adversary to a pump action shotgun level, and those words mean, by the way, nothing completely random. Wow, what the hell, me? Um, we're gonna survive, because if we get this... Ab well, currently he has so much removal, I don't think it's gonna matter. But there is a world where we can make it. Another one of those, not a big deal. Okay, I need- I, I just need to find a way to- Yeah, he's not attacking with that now, are you, you little freak of nature? Yeah, that's right. 
Okay, good, 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 good. That's that's so. Oh, Nelly. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the sauce. Okay, so watch this. Watch this. Oh wait, actually no. That that was probably stupid. Oof. I'm gonna attack because I need I I need something here. Okay, well, I can't wait. So the thing is, I can't wait until this this thing resolves. I can't literally live my life revolving around one card. If he removes it now, it's not gonna work. God. Woo! Oh, it actually worked out. That's so good. That's so good. So, because I need enough mana. Another one! Yo, relax! Just, just, just a little bit of that relaxation, you know? No one's, no one's gunning for- Well, I am gunning for your- Oh, no! Uh, we, we need to do some bi big plays here, boyos. We need some big plays. Another land? Well, sure, why not? That's actually not bad. Okay, as long as we survive the next turn, it's, it's all good in the hood. As long as survival is bestowed upon us, this is gonna be, uh, 8-5 or something. Which is gonna be redonkulous. This is barely not- this is barely non-removable. But if he attacks with a chick, what do I do? Okay. 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 Well, that was not impressive. Well, that was impressive. Dude, these these absolutely 100% pure forced losses. We have not had a shot against a single red player. That's insane. We we get nothing that heals us. We get the Seraph's Paragon, and it doesn't work because we're up against uh, those stupid sagas. That saga is so broken. I completely understand the people who just say, yeah, when I play against a mono red player, who plays that on turn one I just concede because it is stupid and also yeah we have the defective might but we currently have not been able to use it even once which is hilariously stupid okay uh poison mimic poison okay nice 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 when by nice I mean not happy but we do have a companion we do have a lot of fodder here and as long as this is a thing, I, if, as long as this doesn't get removed, we absolutely peachy. It got removed, huh? Well, we are no longer, as one might say, absolutely peachy. We are, in fact, strained. If that's the opposite. Whatever. Words. Okay. Go for the basic land. Amazing. What a play. And now, hopefully, this does not get removed. Let's see what he plays. We have still ossifications, adversaries, all all of this good stuff, right? Okay. And yes, good. Is he playing uh, Dimir Poison or what? Seems a bit sus, but I, I, I think I like it. Vraska Avatar. Maybe she's no longer hot. Ooh. Okay. I see no reason to not ossify this thing instantaneously. Because this is the thing that can get out of your graveyard in, uh, free every time you prowl it. Which means quite the annoying card. I love the art though. I do think this thing is kind of cool. But that's pretty much it. That's all she said. Anyway, if he pushes it back, nothing really happens. If he doesn't push it back, nothing really happens. Does he have any ways to deal with ossification to build like this that's destruction based? Ah, uh, probably not, considering he's poison and prolet. Okay, hello there. Okay. That's problematic, to say the least. And I need to ditch this, otherwise we're... C oh, double Liliana, you say? So yeah, that was the play, ditch the land. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, we... Okay. Oh, a foundry! That's gonna deal with Liliana for show, boy. Okay. And, best case scenario, he does nothing. He does nothing! Oh, yes, 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 yes! That's so good! Because we can... We will be able to... Uh, we will be able to deal with Liliana. That's perfect. 
Pitch perfect, boys. Drops land. Ah, not the biggest of deals. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Minus two. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we have an ossification, which means now we can do things differently if we really, really want to. Uh, but I'm gonna go for the... Let's not do things differently if we really, really want to. He may have a third Liliana in his hand, which is the crazy thing. There is a slight chance that that's actually... No instance! Hello? He doesn't have instance, and he just concedes, yeah. It seemed kind of bad for him, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, yep, yep. And we're slowly but surely trying to rank up. It's a bit of a pain. Let's see if our next opponent is also mono red, which will be absolutely amazing if he is. Because that will mean something. In any case, bam. Continue on. Currently doing pretty good. I should probably text back, so... Wait, 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 whoa. Wait, it's it's almost the end of the video. No one's here. Remember, like, subscribe, press the join button, blah, blah, blah. All of that good stuff. There we go. And we go first. Didn't even look at the hand. Kept it because I felt it. And we have a might. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Useful. Okay. So drop this. Drop the might. It is what it is. Bam, 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 bam. And purple. Another one of these type of players. That's fine. Let me just introduce you to my little toxic friend. Oh, imagine casting a poison counter. Uh, hello. That's definitely something. Do I ca Yeah, I actually do care about instantaneously getting rid of you. You are annoying. You are what is commonly referred to as very annoying. And should have actually not, by the way, attacked last turn. <laughs> uh, just an FYI for anyone wondering. That was stupid, actually. That, that was very, very potentially stupid of me attacking... Wait, is this just the return? Uh, is this the... Uh, uh, what's happening? W why am I playing up against the same garbage wizards? Did you make a mistake and not give, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Autismo Turismo a win? Or w what's happening here? Anyway, since we have the might here, I'm gonna just keep it around forever. Do I need to depopulate? That's a question. That is a good question. Anyway, got the might, which means, ooh, not bad, but we need to do, do the Seat of Restoration. Okay. I wonder what our opponent is gonna do. We're currently being extremely non-aggressive considering everything. But then again, our opponent has been kind of hindered pretty bad. Because, you know, he's using garbage like this. So, he's kind of relying a lot on the proliferate side of things. And if he... Hello there. Wait! Did you even do... Oh! You can't target yourself with this? I had no idea! I was playing this game all this time thinking that I can't destroy this because it can protect itself. And you're telling me that's not the case? Unbelievable! So all this time, all those losses I have had against the mind drop is... I could have won, you're telling me I could have won all of that? But I didn't because... Oh my god. Unbelievable. In any case, also, this is a little bit big. Okay, let me start dropping, uh, let me start dropping a lot of things. I need samurai tokens, well, to be honest, I need every kind of tokens and everything I can get. This looks like a loss. Man, so I have lost so many games because I thought that this thing can protect itself. Turns out, no, it cannot protect itself. Is that a joke? How is that a thing? 
Also, are you seriously not going to have a way to deal with the Vraska situation here? Because, you know, sucks to suck. Well, at least he's using Vraska. I'm gonna, I want to make something with Vraska, you know, because control is just so, so delish. It is delish. Okay, let me think about this one. Okay, so, uh, do this. Let's see what happens. Let, let's see what our opponent has here. You need to make a choice. Are you gonna make mo Oh. Oh, he, he made the choice. Well, I am also making a choice. And that choice is transmogrification. In that case. I hate you, though. I want you to know and understand. My, my dear sweet- Wait a minute! Oh, no! No! I did it before the pro- Oh, no, I didn't- uh, I didn't- it proliferates also the Vraska Planeswalker. Oh no. Professional magic player, by the way. Oh, he act actually has Field of Ruin. Ain't that cute. Well, he doesn't have a lot of HP, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so he continues doing that, but I will do this. Okay, he is really, 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 really... 7 at 12... Uh, one damage off currently a uh, absolutely finishing this full. So, if I could draw something that buffs my things, I will get the win. With one damage off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sadly not enough, as one might say. Sadly, just not exactly enough. Okay, so, two of these left. Can I actually... I kind of want to do this, but I can't. I don't have the mana for it. Well, then in that case, it's Elish Non. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, look at this. Seven. Yeah, one, one mana, one HP off. One HP off, and with the amount of cards he has, sadly, we're gonna lose. So, so I literally would have won if I just attacked with a defective skeever. I would have won if I just attacked with a defective skeever. What a time to be alive. What a disgusting, disgusting situation to be in. Yeah. Expected. Well, anyway. Wow. Cool animation, though. In any case, this was Quizzer Sensei, and thanks for watching. Sa ha thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.